What I think about Mr. Sang is that I think he's a really great teacher. I like uh, what he teaches us about how to shoot photos and how to shoot them well, accurate and precise, and how he tries to motivate us to get out and uh, uh, shoot some photos. And uh, I like how he tries to kind of let us think about what we want to shoot and how we want to do it. I like how we just have this idea of creativity and originality in our photos. Uh, Mark Sang, photography teacher for the last, I believe, I believe I'm in my 18th year. I started in September 2003. Teaching actually kids how to load film is one of the most aggravating things in the world because it's such a, I think it's just because it's so tactile, but. My favorite camera has been the same camera that's been my favorite camera since 2007 when I bought it. It's a Leica MP. I guess one main reason I like that camera is I got it because it's really quiet. Then one time I was traveling and I was in a train and I wanted to take a picture of somebody and I just knew that if I took a picture they would hear me because you know cameras, you don't realize how loud they are until you're in a quiet situation. <laughs> Pull the film lever, pops up the back, which you never want to do if there's film. If you're wondering, if you're not sure if there's actual film in there, people just need to realize you just need to turn this, and if it's all loosey, then there's no film in there. Uh, well, the first thing that just popped in my mind is, I don't know, everybody says I'm sassy, but I think they're confusing that for sarcasm. So, I don't know if you would agree with that. I needed a class, so my friend's brother was taking photos, so I took a photo and I didn't have a camera. So I got into the class, and then, um, strangely, actually, I was trying to drop the class. I just remember the photo teacher was really kind of in a bad mood that first day and said that the class was overcrowded and that if you didn't really want to be in the class, you should drop it. And I took that literally. I didn't. I wasn't offended by it. I just made a, an appointment with my counselor, and I just said I wanted to drop a photo. And he asked me why. And I said, "Well, the teacher said that it was really crowded. If I didn't really want to be in there, you <laughs> drop it." And he just looked at me and just said, "Well, a lot of people really wanted to take it. You have it's just to do whatever, right?" Never touch the shutter. Film goes in one way. I always slight angle. Push this down. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the class, and I thought she was. Real, I really liked her as a teacher. Uh, and I remember popped in my head like the first time I had an independent thought of oh, it'd be cool to be a photo teacher, like earn a living as a photo teacher. Take a picture, advance it, take a picture, advance it so it looks like that. I like it. I mean, I, I was really surprised at how much I, was, uh, I fell in love with it, really. If it doesn't go down all the way, you just turn it until it does. Uh, on the Pentax K1000, you want to make sure that it's loose and not kind of wedged in there. That's one problem. And then it just feeds in. Has to be touching the bottom. You think of teenagers, you just think of like sort of unruly. We were all teenagers. That's basically where it comes from. So, young adults learning to act appropriately for the first time in their lives. Close the back. One little trick that I do is I turn this in the direction of the arrow. Do you remember I always yelled that kids don't turn it against the arrow? What I think, when I think about kids and what to get out of photography, because I know that not all of them want to be photographers, some of them are, but I always sort of tell the other kids, it's like just problem solving. Just um, problem solving, pay attention to details. For some reason, teenagers always want to, or people want to turn it, and I go, why do you want to do that? They go, I just thought you were supposed to go against the arrow. I'm like, the, ar the arrow's there for a reason. <laughs> so. I wasn't really much of a photographer. I did take photos here and there on my cell phone, but I just didn't know what it was like. I didn't know what the experience was like until I went to his classroom. The other way to check to make sure that you load film correctly, because back in the day, that's why people would take photo classes, because they would go on European vacations and realize that they never took any pictures. Um, if I were to describe them in a few words, is just, just a really great guy. I like him. He's one of my favorite teachers. You turn this until it stops, you take a picture, and 
and then when it advanced and turns, that's how you know you're hooked up. And you have to take two shots to get the dead film out of the way. And then you're ready to go. So, that's film loading. It's pretty easy, right? Um, if I were to describe them in a few words, is just, just a really great guy. I like him. He's one of my favorite teachers. All right, Taylor. Later, Sang. Have a good weekend. Thanks for the interview. You too. Thank you.